What's up, guys? So, um, some people wanted to get the uh, the Anim School Picker working for their Maya install, so that you can like use the picker to you know pick the actual thing and not rely on you know gimbals or little little tiny nerve things. And so, I'm going to show you how I got it to work on Maya 2015. Obviously, um, I tried to follow the instructions uh, from Anim School, but it didn't work, and I just kind of hacked my way through. Um, so this is how I did it. So what you're going to need is, I just downloaded Malcolm. Obviously, there's like the Anim School picker that I grabbed, and I'm going to do this with Maya 2015 because that's the one I got it to work with. I haven't tried this with 2016 yet, um, but 2015 works. I can only imagine 2016 will be pretty similar. We're going to need this Anim School Picker Bundle. Um, that's the, the little plug-in thing that goes, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second here. So this is Maya, um, yeah, as we're all aware. Um, usually to get like a plugin to, to work uh, you got to go into window and then settings and preference preferences and then plugin manager and you can see like right up here I have the anim school picker bundle it's loaded right now it also auto loads um, this was a big problem it wouldn't load for me until I turned auto load on and had to restart Maya um, this little green icon here shows you where I've actually put it and it's in Applications, Autodesk, Maya, Maya App, Contents, macOS, Plugins, and then the Anim School Picker Bundle. So, with that said, if you want to get to that, just open up Finder here and I'll go to my um, Applications. And then I'll go to, I'll just type in Autodesk because that's what it's in, Maya 2016. And then the trick to getting into Contents is actually right clicking on Maya and say show package contents. From there you'll go into contents, Mac OS, scroll down to plugins, and in there you'll see I have the Anim School Picker bundle. What I did is I just dragged that in. And if it asks you for your password for your machine, just put in your password. And you've successfully completed step one um, of a couple steps here. And close that. Oh, I'll just minimize this guy. So, Anim School Picker is there. Once that's there, you should probably fire up Maya and make sure that when you go to Windows Settings Plugins Manager, that everything is there. Um, I would say you want it to be loaded and you want to auto load if you need to restart Maya so that that happens. I would do that, double check. Um, pretty great, right? So, that should be in there by default by now, hopefully. If it's not, pff, I don't know how to help you anymore. You can stop the video there. Um, or I can try and help you in person if you see me if you're in class. So I'm just going to close the plugin manager. And then what we're going to do is, if you'll see up here, let me just scroll right in. I have this little thing here when you hover over it, it says Anim School Picker. Woo. And so what this is, is this is the little guy that launches the Anim School Picker. Um, so we need to set up that, um, that little shelf first. So in the custom shelf, that's where it's going to be. It's not in general or any of these other things. I just I have it in custom um, for that reason. So under Windows, and then, oh god, where's my shelf editor? Shelf editor. So Window, Settings, Preferences, Shelf Editor. I'm going to go in here. On the custom shelf, what I did was I made a new icon or a, a new shelf content. And so basically you hit this little thing with the explosion that says new item. You'll make a new item. You'll call this user script whatever you want it to be. So we'll just call it anim school pick, just so that it's different. And you hit enter. And that's just going to rename it. And then the thing you have to do with it selected, you go, you go to command. And instead of saying print macro, you're basically putting in anim school picker. I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to hit paste, and that's it. Um, 
Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can set an icon for it. Right now, I'm just going to use whatever the default one is, um, but I'll show you where to put that something, uh, where to put this little one that looks like a mini Malcolm. And then I'm going to hit Save All Shelves, and that's going to be there. And what that's going to do, this little, little dude here, this is my first one, this is the new one I just made, and when I click on it, it's going to bring up the picker, um, or the picker window. Um, and so that's what we want it to do. You can right click on this and say edit, um, and I can look at this school picker, and you can see the icon preview. The icon you put somewhere else, which is super awesome because um, it's different. So um, I think the picker icon also comes with your thing, and you'll want to put that into your um, your computer username library preferences autodesk maya 2015 dash x64 prefs and icons and basically once that's in there it'll always kind of like come around with you and then you just select that icon um, in here so picker icon that's what it looks like it's super great and then it'll show up in your shelf that way so um, that's pretty cool so i'm going to hit save all shelves now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next four hours um, and I'm going to reference in Malcolm and it's going to load super slow because um, that's just the way it is. God. Personal. I have all my stuff on Dropbox. It's a good thing to do. All my rigs. So I'm just going to grab Malcolm here. Malcolm 2. I'm going to click reference. And my computer is going to take forever, so I'll probably just edit the video here. Six hours later. Hey, we're back. Um, that only took six hours. Um, thanks, Malcolm. You're awesome. So, now that we have Malcolm in here, you're like, oh, Jeremy, I'm going to use the picker. And then when you click on the picker, there's nothing in there. And so, you, once you have Malcolm in there, the next thing you need to do, and once you have the picker rolling, hit File, and you say Open. What you're going to open is like the picker files that come with Malcolm, so the body, face, and the outfits, and you're going to say open. And there we go. Um, you, you don't need untitled anymore. You can just say kill him, and then you have Malcolm body, so now I can select the, the head really easily, or I can select this, make him do a little dance. Um, you can select everything, which lights him up pretty crazy. Um, you can set it to just basic so that it gets rid of some stuff for you, which is really handy when you're just like trying to go for like some major stuff. That's good. In the picker here, you'll notice that there's like things like shoulders where this one goes up and down. But if you wanted to grab both shoulders, you can shift click them or you can just use this little dot and then it's going to select them both at once. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Same goes for the face. Uh, let me just let me just zoom zoom in. To, whoa, hey, where are you going? Oh man, that's a little bit too close. But in the case of you know eyebrows, if you want to do them all at once, you well, that's the left one. This is the right one. And it's just gonna. I'm very bad. Um, you can grab them all, which is really handy. Um, same with like stuff like cheeks, you know, oh, I'm so tired. Um, but any of that type of stuff, you'll be able to, you know, select stuff much quicker, um, given this. Um, this also scrolls a bit to the right. Uh, I don't think there's a scroll bar, but you can extend this. And this is where you change all your hair, so you can turn it off and have, you know, crew cut, or bald, or, you know, hair A, whatever any of these things are. Um, same with the outfits, you can just say, oh, give me the jacket, give me the shirt, uh, give me the shoes. Uh, that's not a, good, uh, not a good example there. So there's no shoes, there's shoes. Um, so you can go greaser all, or you can say, oh, give me the athlete all. So, um, it's pretty good. Um, I think still have the pants on there. I've done something here. Oh, Dapper Man. Athlete. There we go. Greaser. 
or the worker or the hunter, or the farmer. No, I've never done farmer. This would be fun. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, so once you have that going, um, every time you load up a new Malcolm, you'll just have to open up this thing and say, open the picker files. I'm assuming that works for anything that uses the Adam School Picker. Um, Malcolm's the only thing I use right now. And that's it. You'll notice that this works with either of those things. I'm going to go into my old one. I'm just going to go in here and, and delete this because, God, I don't need it anymore. Um, I believe we can just hit trash. Hey, there we go. And then save all shelves. So there we go. That's uh, my quick little thing. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, have fun animating.